What's up, my nerds? It's been, a, it's been a couple years. Yes. Welcome to uh, the uh, Christian. Uh, what are we doing this at? F PG 14? Something like, Something like that? All right, so this is a... Uh, this is not the erotica panel that was Yes, yesterday. this is not the erotica panel from last night. Thank you all for everyone that ended up showing up to that. Uh, this is the What the Funk Have Mobile Game Ads Become. Uh, I'm Jason Spriggs. Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. I know things about marketing, so I'm here to be boring and actually tell you why things happen. I'm just the one that happens to have TikTok on his phone. Um, that's basically the only reason I'm here. And I'm Mark, but first, today's panel is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends, one of the biggest mobile role-playing games of 2019, and it's totally free. Currently, almost 10 million users have joined Raid over the last six months, and it's one of the most impressive games in the class, with detailed models, environments, and smooth 60 frames per second animations. All of the champions in the game can be customized with unique gear and changes your strategic buffs and abilities. So what are you waiting for? We get paid Go to the, the panel description in guidebook, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I'll see you there. Now back to the panel. Thank you. Yes. This is definitely not an attempt to have a post panel sponsorship from Raid Shadow Legends. If you're listening, Raid Shadow Legends. No, please don't sponsor this panel. No, no. We're we're all right. As much as we get paid by the word, we don't get paid by the word. Well, cool. Um, so yeah, the, the general gist of this panel is clearly we all have been locked inside of our houses for the last, I don't know, two-ish years at this point. And uh, I'm sure all of you have seen the atrocities that have been going across your little phone pocket PC bullshits. And uh, what the fuck? I mean, like, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll let Jesse kick it off, however. Oh, wow, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so I noticed something uh, back probably around 2016 in, I think if you might, you might just remember on your television screen, and I mean it, like on your TV, there was this busty uh, white lady with blonde hair and beautiful titty armor. Uh, she graced your screen with a wonderful ad for a mobile game? I'm not sure, but she whispered things to me and I was, I was very intrigued by it. Listen. That's destiny calling. It's daring you to seize it. Some of you will die on this day. But stand with your alliance, and there's nothing to fear other than what's about to come out of those trees. I think I saw some fan art about this trailer. Even though the Minotaur has never lost, I believe in you. Play for free now from the App Store. So, so that was like peak, I don't know how many millions of dollars I paid for whatever the hell we just watched. Um, but th that's like, we're, we're starting at the beginning of the end where it's, it's partial trailer, but definitely there's a lot of money right there for some reason. And I remember quite a few of those ads following the very first one, and this was 2016. This was like Angry Birds the movie, the same year that came out. And you might have noticed that things started getting a little weirder from then on, um, because I think they realized that they could do stuff like that and get away with it, and it worked. People bought the game, and so now you have stuff like Clash Royale, and they're uh, just endless ads. There's so many of these things, and I, I still don't get it. But I, I do believe that this was a Super Bowl ad, if memory serves me right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
download for free. All right. Uh, yeah. God, so it's, it's been a minute since I saw that. Yeah. Um, but I think at this point now, and it's we're not in 2016 anymore, and things have gotten infinitely weirder than that. Uh, but from my memory, I think that's around the time that stuff started to go south. And I don't know if you guys can recall any any other ads from around this time that really like brought brought it slamming upwards and then suddenly crashing downwards. Any anybody? Yeah. There was one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I remember that. For a mobile game? Yeah. yeah. No, no, he wasn't in it. He was just in the commercial. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just things like that. And a lot of them were on, they were on television, but now we don't even need to do that because, you know, if you, down, if you download one single game on your mobile device, I guarantee you that you're getting like 50 million more advertisements for other mobile games that it just keeps cycling through and through. So, Spriggs. So uh, up next we have I w what I would argue as the, the the pinnacle of what the industry has become, and I would call it just generalized, overtly sexual storyboards. Because Not the yeah the easiest thing that you can uh, do to get somebody interested in the thing you're trying to sell them is ass titty, and that's about Scott it. Scott really is a genius. Captain Scott, the day is ours. Yes, Captain. Could you tell us how you did it? An awesome unit must be paired with awesome tactics if you want to achieve the best results. Because, you know, you just need to... These units I don't know. Well have someone, like, you're just hanging out at your desk, and then, you know, yoink, yoink, tank game? I don't know. Uh, the point is that you were baited by the beautiful women in uniform. The enemy's heading towards the house. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Play now. You know. Girl, come on. Leave the second... My apologies. <laughs> TikTok is only the finest platform, and apparently if you touch it in any wrong way, you'll get four more videos. But you can sell anybody anything as long as you get their attention first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, please. Uh, so we have, then we have the whole Lily's Garden. Uh, You're going to mess. see a lot of Lily's Garden. Does anyone want to take a guess as far as what this game is about? I'm just gonna let it go in the background. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, my mother plays. No, no, no. Then don't spoil it. All right. Yeah. Of Absolutely. course. It is 100% a matching game. So. Now tell me. I mean, there are three wonderful women here. And they are ready. They are ready. They're ready I, to match some tiles. They, they are ready to match some tiles. And I, I went into this because Lily's Garden is a thing. You have probably all maybe seen a Lily's Garden advertisement and you didn't notice exactly what it was because you didn't imagine it could possibly be match three. But what happened was, and this it was very deliberate, they made these ads specifically so that they would go viral because of the really strange content of woman fakes pregnancy test to get man to leave her question mark. Did you know the storyline is actually that she's helping her like aunt with her garden? That's why it's called Lily's Garden. But you didn't, you don't care about that because you were wondering what the hell was going on with those women in that washing machine, right? <laughs> That's all you cared about. And it worked. And unfortunately, you're going to see a trend evolve from that um, with even more lovely uh, games attempting to grab your attention. But we're not quite done with the uh, uh, butt baiting, I guess. I, I would guess so, yeah. So we definitely have uh, whatever the hell this is. Uh, it's for Age of Z uh, Origins tower defense game. Uh, okay, so you just fucking die, uh, and then get up, and then damn. Oh wait, zombie apocalypse. All right, no, no, no. But that's not even it yet. You're going to your own place, and you are making Farmville happen on your own private island. Y'all ready to play some Farmville? <laughs> Uh, I don't remember, I should have put, like, clues next to each of these. Uh, 
We got a... Uh, Whatever this is. <laughs> this is a slots game that I guess, well, I'll just play it. Hey, have you fixed my pipes yet? Yeah, it's all done. Uh, it'll be 600. I won't pay. I just paid my rent. I don't have enough to pay you. I, I can't do this job for nothing. We're going to have to work something out. Why don't you say? Maybe I'll, I can open your thing. Sorry, this call. Hello. Hello, am I speaking to Nathan? This is Cat Frenzy calling. Our system has detected your new user who has recently downloaded our game. We have sent 3 million free coins to your account. We just wanted to check if you had received them. What? 3 million? Well, I didn't top up a single penny. Please rest easy, sir. You don't have to spend a single penny in our game. And you can get up to 10 million free coins for every 15 minutes you spend playing the game. And I just want to note that, like, I feel like the very beginning of this ad was a certain storyline that I've seen on a certain hub website. It just, it really... Can we call know, this Pornus Interruptus? Yeah, for real. And, and, and we'll definitely see a lot of that. Oh, she's going to play too. This. Exciting. Yeah. Uh, you can get your three million three coins, apparently. Um, last one in this little section is, what's going on? I don't know. Oh, wait, zombies. Um, <laughs> I don't know, just fucking die or whatever, right? <laughs> Where's the oh, DJ? Oh yeah, mow him down. Okay, so. Um, so there I was in the stall, and then she bit me, but like, it was not happy, not a happy bite. Uh, we got some more just, just general titties. Uh, Advertising for, I forget what this Raid Shadow Legends, our dear friend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, that goes pretty well through our butt baiting section. You'll certainly see it's a recurring theme, and that was the only stuff that we really yes, threw at the very beginning. You, you can probably already guess that there's an infinitely broader range of things of that nature. Um, if you've ever gotten an advertisement for... Uh, maybe be like an Atome game, like a oh hot vampire man. He he can be your villain, or maybe it's the Goblin Man, and they're all just like sexy anime men. And they're like these men will mistreat you, and you're like I don't actually know what this game is, but I do want that hot vampire man to suck on my neck. And maybe it might be like my monster gotcha girlfriend game. Would you like this Naga girl? How about three of this Naga girl? If you combine them, she wears less clothes. It's all the same thing. Every single one of these. And you will always download it. Yep. And it will always be a matching game. And it will always be a match three or a gotcha game because you want your hot Naga girlfriend. I really want a hot Naga girlfriend. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I forget what this one was. Ah, yes. Okay. This goes back into our dear hub music uh, game. Everyone ready? Identify what the sound is. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Is this oh, She's shopping for. All right, well, that didn't really go. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> There we go. Okay, thank you. Again, just a slots game because, you know, that's how we advertise nowadays. Um, yeah. Keep in mind that a lot of these are on TikTok. And you know who uses TikTok? Like people half my age. Children. And yeah. what we really need to do is sell the kids gambling games. Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, you like loot boxes, kids? Yeah. Yeah. Now it gets casino slots. So this, uh, the next section is what we colloquially dubbed as uh, influencer crimes. Mainly, this goes very much into the selling kids gambling games for the most part. Um, unfortunately, we have such groups as uh, Lance210, who is normally just a prankster. My grandma absolutely loves claw machines. And when she found out she can play them straight from her phone using the app Clawly, she completely lost it. And the best part is that these are real claw machines and oh, you can yeah. bring prizes directly to your door. Need a I don't believe plush? this is real. I swear, grandma, try it out yourself. Oh my God, I want Lance, I want. And sure enough, the doorbell rang and I just knew it was grandma's package. Grandma, your Clawly package came. Way. That's weird. That's an Amazon box, but okay. Look at all these prizes I won, Lance. Oh my! Look how cool this drone is I won. Selfie <laughs> light. I can't 
can't believe this is so cool. You can download Clawly now, click in the link in my bio. Oh, yeah. My grandma absolutely loves claw machines. Okay, and when she All right, thank you. <laughs> But, uh, but, apparently, but listen, so, what does so, he usually do? I don't know. Uh, has anyone else played claw machines on their phone? And gotten their shit shipped to them? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we uh, have one. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. No, but, but genuinely, what, what has other things have, has that guy gone? Like, uh, what, what does he do? He, he is a prankster YouTuber. He, his, uh, his thing is, oh, my one foot long ball sack is hanging out of my shorts. Was he the or video you, you showed the, me of the hand throwing like chocolate syrup onto yeah, a, chocolate a toilet? Yeah, chocolate syrup onto someone else's toilet and then they puke their guts out because you just shat on someone <laughs> neck in like the stall over from you. You know, classic quality YouTube content. Um, we also have, this is also influencer. I don't know who this person is, but I'm assuming it's an influencer considering the content. Uh, this game is not Minecraft, and if any of you try and say that it's Minecraft, you're wrong. Wait for it, still not Minecraft. Sex still not Minecraft. Wait for it. It's a fucking ant game. The Ant is a cool game in which you can build your own Ant Empire and even create your Ant Army. There is a wide variety of Ants here that you can upgrade. Thank you, dude. <laughs> like, what? Uh, yeah, so then we have just the group of people that are... Uh, just advertising games that are not it? I don't know. Um, similarly, there's there's also the ads that are, oh, I don't actually care about the game that I'm doing. I just want to sell you a Lamborghini. Also under, you know, these- Ryan, ads. what have you been doing on that phone all day? I'm playing a zombie game. Put the phone down and get to bed. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, I'm putting it down. All right, all right. Ah! Honey, it's 11 p.m. I think it's time for bed. Uh, all right, I'll come back in an hour and ask your permission for you to go to bed again. Hello? Is it my turn to play yet? Close the curtains, Mom. Oh, of course, honey. Where's my apple juice? Make me a Nutella sandwich. I gotta stay alert for State of Survival's ultimate survival giveaway, where they're literally giving away a brand new Lamborghini. I just gotta reach level five to qualify. You can't drive, you're just a kid. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. You can win a Lambo? Yep. I, I I still don't know what state of survival is, but I know that if I reach level five, apparently I can get a Lambo. Um, so that's that. Yeah. Um, I but think that I mean, when we're talking about influencer crimes, you think about Raid Shadow Legends because you've all seen the YouTube advertisements where it's just some random guy who has an army of 12 year old followers telling you all about the magic things that Raid Shadow Legends can give you if you just download it today. It's free. Um, and so you've seen a lot of really weird ads for that, but that that's basically it. It's, uh, they will sponsor anyone. Please sponsor us, Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, we definitely have then this next section, which is the bet you can't beat this games. Uh, you've all seen the ads for uh, what I would classify as simply as the pull the pin game. So like, all right, yes, okay, so these guys have oil. Ah, uh, who could have ever thought? I wonder what the solution could possibly be. I wonder if we can solve this puzzle together. Oh, God. Oh, damn. If only I didn't spew oil on. If only the house. you, yes, you had downloaded the game instead of random AI, you could have possibly saved Doghouse. We, then we have also the, the same group, which is uh... ah yes, the spiders are there. What do I use? The broom. Ah, he's still cold. Okay, do I use spray foam or give him a new window? I'm gonna go with spray foam. Oh, he died. Hmm, 
I wonder what happens if I light the fire. Dynamite. I, I mean, good it. choice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> yeah. Um, we definitely also have, uh, you know, the addition games. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so 9 is bigger than 12, and 15 is bigger than 8, apparently. Who could have ever thought that 6 was a bigger number than 128? Anyone? No? Okay. I mean, you know, I'm no mathematician, but, uh, yeah. Lily's Garden, although it is a mystery oh game, God. did actually have an ad where it was the same thing. I don't understand why a match three game would have an ad in it where you're supposed to, I think it was like, oh, you need to fix a hole in the side of the wall. What do you do? And you like see them point and like click on dynamite and like drag it over to the hole in the wall and then it explodes. It's a match three game. You don't even do that. <laughs> and, and what's nice, I mean, obviously they're just doing it to frustrate you is the, the end of the day. It's like, oh, I can do this better. You download the game, it immediately asks you, oh, can you rate our game? You hit five stars so it'll stop asking you to rate the game. And then you get into it and you're like, ah, yes, my matching game. And then you uninstall it five minutes later. So, mm -hmm. I mean. But you also need to buy some energy because you can't match three all day. If you match three enough, it will deplete your energy bar, but. You don't have to wait if today you purchase for five small dollars a new reinvigorated energy bar and you can match three again mm -hmm. for another like five minutes. <laughs> we definitely also have uh, wordscapes. You probably have all seen this stuff where, oh yeah, just what's your IQ? I don't know, it's negative 24. Ah, oh, but if only I could find the numbers and the letters and then make the thing and magically I have, I don't know, words? Such high intelligence. Such high. Wow. And what's nice, what's really nice about these ads is that the game could actually try to like make some of this stuff up, but if you actually download these games, none of them, like th you could create a app that did exactly that, but none of them exist. <laughs> it's just the ads that say this. Yes. Um, um, but it is a really fantastic technique, just showing you something very simple that you definitely know the answer to. Um, you don't need an IQ of 100 million to know that you can definitely pull that pin to make water drop down. Um, but in showing you a fake person that just sam can't, they can't seem to get it right, you feel so superior and you say, well, I could show them. I could show them that I know how to put the doghouse fire out. I just need to download this game right now. And right also now. have like five gallons of oil. And yes, that too. But I think the best version of this that I've seen is instead of just showing you someone answering it incorrectly, they show you how it works and then they allow you to touch the screen and try it out. And I think I've seen those like sand pouring ones, right? Where you watch them pour different colored sand into the bottles and you're supposed to get the same colors with the same like bottle. It's so sand. satisfying. Yes. And then after they show it to you, they present you with the same screen and now you can pour the sand into the bottle and you try it out and you're like, wow, dopamine. I missed you. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, there's a link right here to download the game? Fantastic. So we take it a step beyond irritating the heck out of you and making you imagine that you could, in fact, show them what for. But now you can show yourself what for by pouring that delicious sand into that beautiful colored bottle. Everything can be yours. Everything. Yum, yum. Uh, we already went over the pull the pin games, and I'm sure you've all seen the King's Return ads where it's, oh yes, the, turns out if I just pour lava on the gold, I will die, or vice versa. Um, I like the Minotaur. Oh yeah, the, okay, oh, so we burn the, the thing. And then you release the lava. And then you burn oh. yourself. Sweet Who could that. have ever thought that would happen? Um, if only he had just released the water, yeah. he could have had the gold. And then we also have uh, the section that is 
I don't know, totally not pop culture references, I guess? Which, why didn't it? Yeah, but do. do. Oh, okay, here we are. All right, tell me. Is Two, Squid Game? three, freeze. You're so good at this game. You must have spent a lot of money on it, huh? Tell me how you made it. You can play this game well without any recharge. Go to the high drop rate dungeon. The drop rate is super high, and you will get a chance to get a supreme mount. Have 200 free combo draws. You can get abundant gold coins and diamonds. Become the top one player in a second. One, two, oh God. Th- Wait. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just don't don't you want to become the top one player in a second with your 200 free draws and I feel doing like literally nothing this is a combination of like the sexy titty appeal because instead of just showing you your Naga girlfriend that could be they're showing you a thing that you relate to. I have also seen Squid's game. I, I watch Squid's participate in all sorts of games, but... And it, that's it, not just because you're into tentacles, but... <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> genuinely, if, if you want to appeal to the small children, um, you can't always use your Naga girlfriend. You've got to just show them a thing that they know that they like, and then you can say, but the free drop rate, and you can become a top player, all for free probably, except when you accidentally drop 20k on your mom's credit card for Genshin Impact. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it is like that. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, Ye- yeehaw? Yeehaw. Uh, this was just sort of, I found this when, I've been basically collecting content for this panel for the last five months in my Google Drive. <laughs> Um, and I mean, you know, as it goes, uh, the this Yeehaw one was a claw game ad that I'll just let y'all experience this. Oh God! Where am I? I'm in the game. I'm in the claw game. No, no, I'm just a yodeler. I'm not supposed to be in here. I'm not supposed to be in the game. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Okay, let's play Chloe for real and try to win this avocado man. Ignore the glasses. The person in front of me just won it. Oh my, god. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Show me the avocado. <laughs> no. Look! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Am I, is it gonna? <gasps> no. I'm gonna win the avocado man. Oh my gosh. I would file this under. Okay, so I moved on to Cactus <laughs> Wallet. Wait, oh, what? Yes. Yes. I will. Definitely influencer crimes. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually find any other content by her. I spent about two seconds doing this, so I mean, that's my own fault. But I don't uh, know, maybe you should just grace the side of Yodeler TikTok I, with your presence I more often. I guess so. Uh, not that my search history hasn't already been completely destroyed by this panel. Uh, <laughs> but, you know. What happens if you search for the ads? Uh, then yeah. what happens? Yes. Yes. Um, we have the. How much did they have to pay in licensing for this? So this is by Zenga, I think. Uh, our dear friends behind Farmville and uh, I don't remember what else. Yes, I just unlocked a new machine. I wonder what Daenerys and Jon Snow are up to next. There's such enthusiasm. And look at these leaderboards. So many people are playing this game. Grab your friends and download Game of Thrones Slots Casino now before someone else plays. All right, tell has me. Has she played Game of Thrones? Well, has Does, she, is has anyone she interested in downloading Game of Thrones Slots Casino after watching that enthusiastic ad? <laughs> We got one, two, there we go. See, all right. Don't you so. want to know what Jon Snow's up to next? <laughs> uh, we got the, uh, when low budget goes a little too low. Um, <laughs> Why did you uninstall the slot game you just downloaded? No fun, no big wins, waste time, waste money. Well, try jackpot well. Hit jackpot so easy. So easy. Wait for it. A 
this point, is it just a matching game? It's a match. Yeah. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, uh, six hundred and two billion dollars. I see. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, really at this point, any... we're just we're just rolling through these. Uh... Yes. Um, we have the there's there's been a game that I get a lot of ads for called Warpath. I haven't actually downloaded it. I did download some of these games to try and understand, but once I realized that basically everything's a matching game, I was like, I have better things to put on my phone. Um, so Warpath, I believe, is just yet another tank game, um, and they've been trying to advertise to the I don't know people that want to think that they're old or are old, but have kids that think, oh, it's cool to shoot people, but that's about it. Um, Lonely just, white Just men. watch the, yeah. Oh man, another M2 light tank. Whoa. This guy is like 40. Dad, look at that tank, it's awesome. Dude, I know, I know, but you just don't get it, okay? What? Warpath is a game that emulates the terrain, tanks, historical relevance of World War II. Do you like, remember bruh, the Sherman you tank? were born in yeah, the 70s it was a at the latest. Force of the Marine Corps in the Child, Pacific remember the theater. Sherman tank? Oh, the I remember. Tira, the Sherman tank could not be stopped. The Japanese yeah. forces literally didn't have the firepower to stop this thing. They could shoot them from a long ways away. It was basically invincible, a nightmare yeah. for the Japanese army. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, if Dad. I translate that, if I had the Sherman tank in real I game, I, I could absolutely destroy my opponent. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Dad, I literally just unlocked you it! You got it! Yeah. Yes! Destroy yeah. everyone! Yeah. Kill yeah. everyone! Everyone! Come on, Sherman. Get those Sherman. dirty Sherman. Japanese! Sherman. Sherman. <laughs> Sherman. Ah. All right, so our, our dear friend in the front, yes. I'm probably older than anybody in this damn room. <laughs> and I can almost equate with that guy. Uh -huh. Oh no, the 40 year old guy. Smartphone, I had my flip phone. All right. At what point do these people actually make money off of this stuff? Where do you give them the credit card? Amazing question. Um, influencer crimes are great because they're just usually sponsored content. If you're talking about like Raid Shadow Legends, essentially this company will contact some random guy on YouTube who lots of 12 year olds like, and they'll say, hey my guy, listen, we'll drop you a couple hundred bucks. All you have to do is read some copy about Raid Shadow Legends to your 12 year old fans. And sometimes they're like, you can do whatever you want. You can make fun of us. Um, uh, as long as you tell them where they can get their free download so that they can spend their parents' money on Rage Shadow Legends. Because they already have their credit card saved on their phone. They just have to click the little button that says, oh yeah, I want to get my M5 Sherman tank. Thing. <laughs> or whatever, my, or whatever my busty is. warrior babe who throws spears. And you know, they don't understand that $5 is $5. They don't understand the value of money. And when you get... There's also these like these weird TikTok ads, right? I don't know a lot of these influencers. I can guarantee some of them don't have that many followers. But the nice thing is, if you're a company who's making crappy match three games that nobody wants to play because they're usually just asset flips, like they just buy the assets and all of the games look the same, they play the same, they just need to distinguish themselves. They can go to some random guy on TikTok who's got a couple followers and say, hey, we'll give you five bucks if you make a dumb TikTok video uh, telling people to download our match three game or our slot game and sometimes they don't even pay them for it if you don't have enough followers and you just want someone to like you know get a boost in your numbers or your views count or whatever they can just be like hey we'll send you a, a, like a free version of the game and then we'll give you some coins uh, and all you have to do to get this free stuff that I'm sure you really want, it's like a free shirt or something, right? Is just make your crappy TikTok video. And so they don't, sometimes they don't even pay them. It's just like clout chasing for the most part. But if you're desperate enough to get eyes on your video, then you'll do just about anything, even advertise for casino slots to children. Um, so yeah, it's just all about getting people to talk about your crappy game for you and uh, tricking mostly children into thinking that they can be just as cool as their favorite influencer if they download Rage Shadow Legends today. That's, this is the uh, the wonders that you're missing by not having a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen this this hand up for a very long time. Yes. Yo. 
another way that they actually they have to expand on what you guys are talking about. Um, another way that that influencers get paid for the stuff that they do is through affiliate links. Yeah. They, they do a lot of um, like they'll, they'll push out content or they'll push out a game, and then the link that they have in that description ties back to them, and then they'll get commission based on how many people they push to the platform. Yeah, it's like a discount code. Um, if you remember like the geek boxes and things, like if you go and you sign up for this this box delivery service um, and you use my my code, Dan Sings, uh, you get 20% off, but every time someone uses that code when they buy your geek box, um, they're getting some amount back um, for that because they can trace it to you. They know that someone saw your crappy YouTube ad and they wanted to then go and buy your geek box. Um, so there's definitely different ways you can go about it. All of it is fairly nefarious and uh, you know most of it, it, these influencers, they don't really care what they're talking about and they would probably never download Raid Shadow Legends on their own, but they're getting paid for it and that's the most important thing. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get these monstrous ads uh, that are scary and don't make a lot of sense because, you know, someone's getting paid to do it and uh, that's the bottom line. If you're desperate enough, you'll ask anybody to advertise your slot game. I see uh, even more fun things there, here. There are indeed additional things. So there's uh, a whole section that I would classify as get the girl ads, which similarly down the Warpath uh, line, I think this is actually for Warpath as well. <laughs> um, oh, damn, I got kicked off of TikTok. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, no, this is for Grand Mafia. Uh, oh, this is a whole new section of things. Yes. Uh, oh. Crook, who would you pick? <laughs> hey, come on, what are you doing? <gasps> Wait, in the world of the Grand Mafia, it's important to own a town first. Then take over other areas to build a training center and investment center. Then you should invest in crew and speed up to unlock mm. angry associates in order to dominate the streets. All of their resources shall be mine. I shall become the Great Mafia Boss. Enter TGM888 now to obtain gold and valuable items and start your journey to becoming a Mafia. The Grand Mafia. Download for free. I've been noticing a lot more of these Mafia-style games. There really are a lot. There's a lot of them, and... I, it, it stems all from the same kind of invoking of feelings that we've already talked about. You you see somebody, you know, failing to accomplish a task and you're like, well, if I download the game, I too could be a level 50 mafia boss, but right now I'm just a level one crook. Um, I, I, I want to get And then I got girl. a single suitcase of money and apparently now I can take over the world. Yeah, it's it's all the same, and these mobile games all make money usually in the same way because they're they're fee to pay games. You download them for free, um, and there's always some sort of incentive to get something done either faster because they force you to wait to do something. Maybe you have to wait to get coins, or you have to wait to match three. Um, and nobody really has time oh, to wait for that to happen. So instead, you give them five, ten, fifteen, hundreds, and thousands of dollars, just so you can become a level one hundred Mephisto faster. Um, and once again, most of it's kids. But you see ads like that, and you're like, who's targeting? Like, who are they targeting in that ad? Like, I don't think it might be like young boys, but. There's a lot of, I've noticed, ads where the theme is like there's a breakup, right? Like there's a, someone's cheating on someone else and they're usually like, especially the sexually explicit ones, like, I don't know, like a pregnancy or something and then uh, you get ditched, like your man leaves you behind. Who's, who's the target audience for that? I don't think that's children anymore. I mean, it might be. Uh, but I don't think that really appeals. Like the Lily's Garden one, where they're all sitting on top of the washing machines um, and the fake pregnancy and all that, that plot line, that's not for kids. Like, I don't, I can't imagine a nine-year-old looking at that and being like, hell yeah, I want to play Lily's Garden. <laughs> so it's it's gotta be like millennials, right? 
that's that's got to be it. But my, uh, who my in this is, room yeah. would see those like that mafia game and be like, oh hell yeah, or download the Lily's Garden? Maybe in based out of solely intrigue. off of the content in the advertisement, especially. And so I've got to imagine that, like Lily's Garden, it was never about appealing to somebody and more to confuse them. And I think that also stems out of, you know, if you've been to business school, which is the saddest thing you, you can ever do to yourself, never do it. Um, as someone with an undergrad degree in evil, I noticed that around the time that I was in school, these ads on television were all kind of starting to be the same, in which you saw them and you're like, wow, that was a weird ad. What were they advertising again? Like, um, if you have ever watched an H-Bomber Guy video, which... Bless, yeah, they have, um, he has a woke ads video where he talks about the monkey playing the drum kit, I think was an ad. He said it was originally for Apple iPhone, like ear pods or something like that. And he said, haha, I tricked you. It wasn't about that at all. It was about, I don't know, it was like Pringles or something. You watch the ad and you have no idea what it's about. But you don't care because you're like, wow, that was cool. And he mentions that an entire generation of marketing students were all taught that that's exactly what you're supposed to do. And they're not, they're not that far off saying that because Lily's Garden or these weird monsters ads that these TikTok people make are all the same. They And y'all are here. And y'all are it, here. It shows, like, right? it's not we all have the interest. To, in yeah, it's not why. supposed to get you interested in the game, it's to get you to share the ad. And it worked. <laughs> We're all here watching these dumb ads. Um, if it goes viral, then enough people know the words Lily's Garden enough that when they see it in the app store, they're like, what's this about? They download it and that's it. You've already done the one thing that they wanted you to do. And if maybe 1% of you drops a couple dollars or more on that game, they've already won. Especially if it's just <laughs> where they're switching up the assets inside of the game. If they can sell the same game 10 different times and it only costs them a few thousand dollars <laughs> to switch out the actual content of the ad between all of this yeah you're gold and if a uh, if a hundred people all give them ten dollars they've probably already profited um which is incredible for them they get the money and they run they don't have to do anything besides that um to get you to download and maybe to spend a buck or two um i there's a whole section i think you had on uh the interesting uh one the pity ads oh yes the uh we're sorry for making a really shitty ad, or sorry, for making a shitty game or lying in our previous ads. Just listen to us this time. You, you heard right. right. This, this is, is an apology, apology from Idol Heroes. Heroes. We, we are sorry. For still low summoners, no doubling vents. For selling expensive packs yet makes no sense. Yes, we have heard your voice. And give to you CD key IH777. Come and claim 40 free draws. Permanent event and be available for all. Please, Please forgive, forgive us. us. Play different. Go. Uh, the, there is a whole section of these. A lot of them are even worse, where it's, again, we have like the scammed, scammed by face slots. slots. Three biggest scams. Number one, no jackpot, even after 10 spins. Number two, ask to top up, right after download. Number three, can only get coins after watching ads. If you're tired of being scammed, play the authentic... I would like to note before he says this, watch his lips when he's saying the name of the game. Slots game. Lots of slots. And <laughs> So, so there's this one company called SpinX Games that has seven games that are exactly asset switch, and the content of the entire game is exactly the same. They all have slightly different names, but like if you download two of them to look at them side by side, you wouldn't know which one is which. And every single one of these ads is just, they've overlaid assets from the other ads that they've produced on top of another. So you might have three or four different ads or games that they're advertising for in the exact same ad. And they just, you know... Overdub the name. It's, it's so easy. Yeah. It could be anything. It's, it's pretty atrocious. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. The... Uh, the development team just has to apologize. With your first top up to one dollar, we can only give you a pack that was well dealt So CD, we know. As such, we solemnly swear to all players that download the game and log in from this video. As 
destroy the internet pack code chaos 666. You get VIP travel and 1 million news. Internet pack code MMO chaos to get some dozen amounts and packs. Download it now. So I have no clue what Rebirth, what is it, of Chaos Eternal Saga is even remotely about, but apparently I can get a million gold and VIP 12. And Listen, like, I see a few things here. I see uh, a cute anime girl. Mm -hmm. I see that they're very deeply sorry about making a shitty game. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at that animation. It took at least four seconds. It, it, it took at least four seconds to buy it from someone else, yes. for sure. Um, it's it's sad. It's an appeal to your emotions, right? You you're like I've been I've been burned before, but they know they know that they hurt me, and they're willing to pay me back for the time that uh, I've wasted playing their game. And look, they're they're giving me gifts, and every time I open one of those, and there's a big fiery explosion, I feel good for a second. I get that happy juice, and I want more of that happy juice. So maybe just maybe, if this really fixes this shit game, I'll give them even more of my money. They deserve it. They're they're truly sorry. They really are. Um, we got some uh, non-existent storylines that are really here. Uh, this is really just going back into the the whole merge mansion. Huh? Oh god, we didn't even talk about. Yeah. Oh wait, mansion. no, that's what are up next. Good. Sorry, I just the thing is, Neil uh, and Joe <laughs> really like each other, but I uh, can't uh, feel yet another <laughs> matching game. But then Amelia where has trying her to put together this mystery of someone who burned down her mom's cafe because no one knows who did it. Oh, juicy. Yeah, and juicy. If that's not enough. It's a best in class merging game with really good looking treats you get to serve happy customers with. Wow, that actually looks so good. I'm gonna eat my phone. So that's how good it what? looks. Oh, I'm just playing this new merging game. Is it that good? So, and so. Uh, I'll just get into Merge Mansion. <laughs> like, yeah, to that, preface this, I think. I noticed after Lily's Garden, and keep in mind, Lily's Garden is a 2019 game. Like, that's when it came out. Mm -hmm. After that, and the explosion of the ridiculous plot line that was Lily's Garden, suddenly we have some competitors here, similar uh, animation styles, similar, like, what the fuck is going on storylines. And I think they just are trying to repeat the formula because it worked the first time. Lily's Garden is a thing now. Um, it might just be a meme, but you know what it is and people are downloading it and it's making money so now we have merge mansion which has not very only, similar game plan. yeah uh, it's all match games um but now instead of just having animation uh crazy animation of women sitting on washing machines now we have live action ads once Grandma, more we're coming full circle sure rakes are in the garage okay So many knives. So little time. <laughs> God, ooh, did you see that TF? <laughs> yeah, that, oh, was, that was a hell of a transform right there. Um, I, yeah, that, it's this one. This, this one. one. Okay. This is great. I oh yeah. Grandma. Grandma. She starts running away. Oh yeah. Grandma, wait. No. Just magfest things. Grandma! Oh, that gets me every time. Okay, so I I don't know how this happens, but we started with mm -hmm. some weird like celebrity woman gallivanting around on her horse uh, in strange titty armor, and we've come full circle to a live action ad that you get like on maybe your YouTube before you watch a video of another match three game. It's just another crappy, you know, same old game. This is the actual gameplay. This is the, the gameplay. <laughs> Merge Mansion. And sometimes in between these, they give you a little bit of plot. So they keep the intrigue up. They're like, if I just match enough, 
I can get the next part of the story, like, oh, what's gonna happen? Will I get discovered about my fake pre pregnancy in Lee's garden? Am I gonna discover grandma's secret in Merge Mansion? I gotta get through this slog to find out the real story. Um, Which is completely irrelevant to the entirety of the game. But see, you've got your energy, you've got all of these like diamonds and things like that, but you don't have to spend your time doing that. If you really want to know Grandma's secret and you want to be the best Merge Mansion player, you can just give them some money and it'll solve that problem for you. Like, yeah, yeah you, you don't even have to merge stuff. It's crazy. I mean, you could just pick up a book. <laughs> Wild. at your library for free, but why would you do that when you can play Merge Mansion? <laughs> it's insane. Um, yeah. But it, it's incredible just kind of watching these things repeat. It's this endless circle of uh, over and over again, just the same, the same old, same old. But it, it's cool, right? That was a funny ad. You laughed. There, there, it, it, it worked. You're like, whoa, what's this shit? I want to play Merge Mansion. Mm -hmm. And that, that's it. They don't have to spend any money producing the game because it's the same game you've been playing this entire time. Um, but they have plenty of ad budget. Um, that's for sure. That's for sure. Um, a lot of this is really just repeats of previous ones, and you all can for sure hit up uh, the talk notes and feel free to watch as many of these as you want. Or, I don't know, just go on TikTok and watch them yourself. Subject see, yourself see to See what the algorithm has in store for you. Um, uh, but yeah, I want to have a few minutes for questions, and I know we're, we're coming up on our hour. Um, the last one that I really wanted to show was the uh, whole category of ads that are just the let me eat my mic real quick ones. Oh, ear vape? Uh, yeah, just... Okay, this one's great. Uh, if my laptop would do the thing, come on. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, which one is better? Ooh. Assassin looks so cool. Okay, this one. Next, let's pick a boss first to fill. Ah, I was instant kill. It's too hard. Ooh. Oh, I see. I walk straight through these mobs and kill you. Ooh. I can change my class. Wow, many skills. Ooh. Hey, Whoa, many come skills. on. Showtime, a hole. Dance with me. <laughs> a hole. Oh. I like it. Honey, am I beautiful? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll just um, go with the hard now right there. Do you have, um, I, I mentioned earlier just the whole uh, generation of millennial marketing students coming out and producing the mm. same kind of ad where you just don't know what exactly is going on. And I feel like all of them went to go work at AFK Arena. Mm. Um, yes. Do you I, have the I AFK couldn't find Arena? a great ad that really embodied the, uh, the everything that was there. Um, I'm sorry, but there is only one ticket left. I have a level 150, three star Gwyneth with a combat rating of three million. I want that ticket. I have a level 240, four star Arthur with a combat rating of over 10 million. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got Tamina five star, combat rating of 50 million. Feel every hero point. How'd you do it? First, I maxed out women and flew through the early stages with her and got plenty of golden coins and diamonds. I also entered the promo code for 33 you know, the promo code. Doing that gives you a heap of heroes that you can quickly make into a sturdy team. You can even play online or offline. AFK Arena. Play now for free. Play AFK now for and free. Chill. Keep in mind that AFK Arena, the entire point of the game is that you don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, 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 I just feel like it, it's a, it's a theme, like all of those, you know, poor kids who spent all of that money going to school decided, you know what I need to do with my life, make ads for AFK Arena. <laughs> it's like a, it, it feels like a Darman video, doesn't it? They all kind of feel like that. A little bit. But, uh, yeah, does anyone have any questions, comments, r rude remarks? Oh, yeah. Uh, right up front. It feels like a lot of people making these ads just gave up and don't feel like doing work and it's sort of like, okay, let's just do the bare minimum 
Some of these companies actually don't even do the work because there's like AI that will make ads for you. Um, yeah, mm. you can literally just input the assets of what you would like the ad to display and it will auto-generate because you notice a lot of these things have like the robot voices that read out text, like text-to-speech. Yeah, like at this point, you don't even need to do any of the work yourself. And you uh, can just tell it, oh, hey, I want my target audience to be like eight to 10 year old boys. Then, <laughs> there and you go. then it pushes it out. Um, yep. You know, it's great. Uh, you barely need to spend any money. Anybody else? Cat, cat yep. face yep. man. I mean, these are all really funny, obviously, but they're also pretty infuriating because as you brought it up, and you're taking advantage of being minded mm -hmm. and youth and the obvious demographic. Do you see any way to regulate this? Is yeah. It's just going to happen. Just Absolutely. Happen. And uh, if you're familiar um, with Jim Sterling videos, um, you know that this is a fight that they have been. Uh, attempting to deal with for a very long time because in the United States there's really no regulation against online gambling when it comes to things like loot boxes um, or fee to pay games um, and a lot of parents don't actually understand how these things work um, when their kids drop a thousand dollars on a sports video game like a soccer game when they bought the kid the game they didn't think that it was going to involve them losing a thousand dollars um, because they just don't understand that kind of world. Um, and should there be regulation? Absolutely. This is, this is gambling. Um, loot boxes are gambling. You slot casino games on your phone are gambling, but if you give the phone to the kid and they download something off the app store, you know, who knows if your, if your credit card information's in your phone, they can do whatever they want. You, and the app stores, you won't even notice. The app stores aren't incentivized in any way to try and solve this problem. That, then, at that point, you know, it's all just a big shield, yeah. which is really unfortunate to do we, everyone involved. Do we need some sort of, like, regulation or, like, policy, government-wise, like, federal? Yeah, because we already have that for gambling, and we, we really need to take a look at this and think, you have to think, is this really something that we, we want to stop happening if we are the company who's making the money off of it? The answer is no, absolutely not. So we're all, obviously we're gonna lobby to stop that. But to people who are genuinely worried about their children making mistakes like this because they don't know better or people with addiction problems, uh, mental health problems, all of this, you're all you know potential victims, but it doesn't matter because you're the ones giving these companies money. Um, so yes, I really do hope that um, one day we finally managed to regulate that, especially in the states. I know overseas there's more like active um, attempts to do so, um, but it's going to take a lot of participation from just like normal activist groups, which at this point, um, it doesn't look like there's a huge This is a pretty small fish to it. fry, unfortunately, in the, the grand yeah, scheme. Yeah, in the grand things. scheme of things, uh, obviously we've got a lot going on right now, but I do hope soon we, we see more action in that regard. Uh, all the way in the back. Yeah. I'm so sorry, I can barely hear you. Can you speak up or come forward? Do a little jog. Yeah. <laughs> I have noticed some gamers, mm. um, people on the IT to try to play the games, like, yeah, Pokemon Star Games, mm -hmm. you have no Pokemon, but then you would notice immediately that they're not actually like the are you talking about like the squid game one where it's showing you other intellectual property but they don't actually own it like maybe they show you a picture of mickey mouse or this like the one frozen I, the frozen music yeah one? here I'll, I'll share the one that we didn't end up showing. this is a complete mixture of other things y'all ready for this it's farmville by the way complete mixture of things. You've got like the weird uh, cheating plot line. You've got, do you want to build a snowman? But your Which question- Which I totally didn't pay Disney No, anything. your question is relevant here because if you have an IP like Squid Game from that ad earlier or Frozen, the, the 
I think the bottom line is that Disney doesn't have enough time to go after every single copyright or trademark violation. Um, this, is, this is small fry stuff. Um, it, it's not worth the time, it's not worth the money uh, it would take to get these people in trouble for doing this. Um, and who, who does that kind of like move work against? Once again, we're back to kids, it's kids. Um, they're on YouTube watching endless cycles of like weird finger family videos or whatever and they get an ad for that and they're like, I'll laugh. Um, and that's all it takes or they see Squid Game and they're like, I like Squid Game. Maybe if I download this hero weird thing, I can also get cool loot drops and be the best player and I'll get to see Squid Game? Question mark. It, it doesn't matter, and it's just an, another easy way to do things. Um, sometimes it's even more AI weird business. Um, if you've been on the dark side of YouTube, you've seen some really weird, like, Indian produced uh, children's content where it just, like, auto populates Elsa and a Squid Game reference and stuff like that, and then it just pushes it on children. And that's really all it takes. Um, but the bottom line, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to, to fight those battles in court. Uh, yes. How much do you think is this offshore that you can't even get to in a court? A million oh, percent. a lot of a lot yeah. of them, and a lot of them are are from India specifically. Yeah, I, every single slots game ad that I've found appears to be made by one of two houses that I have yet to find the actual name for because they try to keep it a pretty good, uh, pretty well under wraps, all things told, but they're both based out of Hong Kong, as far as I can tell, which they just have very lax laws surrounding advertisements, and because of the position that Hong Kong is in the global market, it's fairly easy for them to create something there and distribute it internationally without any ramifications. A lot of them also go by like a dozen different names, yeah. so it's very hard to track down like who's producing them in specific. Um, I saw that you had a question. Yeah, one thing I've seen a lot of them is these annoying video ads. It's like cameo subscriptions and they like weird You said like what kind of ads? Bingo, okay. If there's some sort of celebrity cameo, it, it kind of falls into the umbrella of influencers, but it's almost like an old school version of that. Because when you had like television ads where it's like an old retired football star comes on to sell you deodorant, same thing. Um, they're trying to appeal to like, this is a guy that some of you know and look up to, and he says that this deodorant really helps with his BO and it could help with yours too. Um, if it's a bingo ad, I, I, don't, I haven't seen a whole lot of them myself, so I don't know if I can identify the target audience. I, I get a lot of dice game ads, and I assume it's a fairly similar audience. Yeah, um, you can tell yeah. usually who the target is just by who the celebrity is, um, because if it's like, an old retired football star, it's probably going to be an older audience and it's probably going to be predominantly male. Um, if it's, uh, I don't know, someone from like iCarly I back in the day, it would probably be like a younger audience for sure. Um, so usually when you see those, just ask yourself like, who likes this person? Um, who's a fan of this person? And usually that answer will tell you who the ad is for. Um, but definitely, like, it's a it's an old-school version of influencer crimes. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, uh, before we continue, uh, Christian, I know we're running four minutes over. Are we good to keep going? Or I know that there's something in the room after. Okay. Uh, I heard it, or I saw a hand in the back. Uh, yeah. You can keep going until the next panel. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there, there is some serious ad dollars going back into these, uh, and I mean, you know, you, there are some like ones that are basically just clip art, but uh, yeah, uh, they're they they recognize they have a lot of uh, lore that they've built up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When you have somebody like, uh, well, when you have a game like Lily's Garden, and th when, when that happens, this is like a, a once in a lifetime thing. When you hit on something that works that well, um, you've probably 
got a lot of money out of that. Um, even if it was just the original Lily's Garden ad, it was enough to make them like all of that money. So then what do you do? You keep pushing at it until it breaks. And if you have all that money, maybe you can hire somebody like a really famous actress to be in your ads and then, then you keep pushing it. Eventually people will get bored. People always get bored. But up until then, you're going to milk that until the dollars stop flowing, more or less. Hello. Yeah. Mm yeah. -hmm. Yeah, that's adception. <laughs> Five, okay. Yeah, adception is, is awful. It's, um, especially in sponsored content, you get like YouTubers and they're like, this is a sponsored video, but then they have ad rolls on their sponsored video. So after they're done doing their sponsored <laughs> ad, then you get another mid-roll ad um, for some other random thing. Um, but what if, what if, Cool question. What if originally the uh, the video that you were watching that was a simple recipe? What if it was just an ad from the beginning? Then we can put ads on our ads. What if it's a triple layer ad? What if we go deeper? Shit. Whoa! And you know who's like, if it's Facebook, do you know who's like r really uh, susceptible to stuff like that? It's it's elderly people, um, people who remain on Facebook. Um, they don't under they don't necessarily understand that when they see like a simple recipe video or a, a hack video. Remember what happened with like life hack videos? Yeah, they they come from Russian content farms. We now. could do an entire. Panel oh, that's a whole on, other. Yeah, yeah. they're they're at this point. It's just meant to appeal to people who don't understand that they're ads in the first place. You, maybe you watch it and you're like, oh my god, okay, this is an ad. But some people they just they have no idea that that this is 100 percent meant to be selling them product. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm really curious. What is your guys' opinions on like food or snack commercials from the mid-2000s? I think um, it's like a little bit surreal and absurd. I know Skittles did this um, um, Hot Pockets and like Fruit Bowl. Are you talking about like the berries and cream? Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. And that is a fantastic example of what I was talking about earlier with like that very specific group of marketing students. Because around that time, a lot of those were, were being pushed out by the same group uh, and generation of business kids. Um, you know that Quirk, Quirk is really what was winning the market. At least in the Skittles commercial and the berries and cream, you knew what they were talking about, right? That's a great example of one done well. I would also like to remind everyone about the uh, Skittles Broadway commercial, or uh, Broadway show that they ended up doing. Uh, yeah, this was, they spent their ad money on putting on a one night only show. And, and you uh, bought a ticket like I bought two minutes four after tickets. it went live. Yeah, yeah, I, I was. <laughs> It was, it, it was a spectacle. <laughs> you didn't know about it until now, so I'm going to go ahead and give yeah, that a the, near. I will, I will note, they, so they spent their entire Super Bowl ad budget on putting on a musical, and what was nice is because it was a one-show-only show, they destroyed the entire set during the course of the production, which was absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, that's but yeah, not if, to If you go back and down the nostalgia path and you remember all of these, these you, you watch it and you think to yourself, man, that's pretty quirky. Then it's, it's the same technique. It's more about capturing the attention of the audience than selling them the product. Some of them do it well, the berries and cream thing everyone remembers and they know that it's Skittles. But some you remember an ad and then you think to yourself, but what was it for? Like, what was, that, what was that even about? And sometimes I still see ads to this day. I watch the entire commercial. It's like a whole like 10 to 30 seconds long. And at the end, I still don't know what I, I'm meant to be, to be doing now with that. Like, what, do you, what would you like me to do? Did you want me to like buy insurance? Are you trying to like <laughs> advertise your law services? I can't really tell. And that's where you fail to produce <laughs> the ad well. Um, and there's, there's just so many examples of that. Um, it's, it's a legacy that I'm happy we've left behind, but you can really see the impact in, in over the course of those years in specific, like early 2000s. Um, 
did they work? Yes, if you remember what the ad was for. Um, otherwise, you remember the ad, but you don't know what you're meant to do with it. Yep. We got to wrap we're, up, but we're being told to yeah. wrap. But thank yeah. you guys so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for all for coming. <laughs>